What's up, Kerbal Nuts? This is Noel on PC, and today I'm coming at you with another cheat video. Uh, there is a new version of KSP out, and it has a new debug menu. So to get into the debug menu, oh, that was kind of tricky. In the old debug menu, the comments were basically full of people that were incapable of figuring out how to use their keyboards, because the way the keys work on anything but Windows makes it a little tricky. You're using like specialty keys and stuff. So if you're on anything but Windows, Google KSP debug menu, find their wiki page and figure out what it says on how to get in there. But for PC, it's Alt F12. So you press Alt F12 and you get a lot of gibberish, but there are some things like cheats, right? And we've got an actual, a half decent selection of cheats. So you've got hack gravity, we can just turn gravity off. You saw the ship come up a little bit there. Uh, maybe I can move this off to the side. Geniuses, they're so smart. They have such bing dongs. Okay, so if I like, kind of neat. Could be useful for you know getting a really big ship up off the ground if you just want to you know build a giant space station. Oh, reset. There we go. Okay, good. So. Unbreakable joints, crash damage, all the same stuff we had before, infinite propellant, yada, 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 yada. We've even got now um, another cheat video I did was, I think, how to edit the save files. So they've kind of done that for us here um, in a sense. They've given us the ability to, it looks like, add science, right? I'm adding funding. I'm adding science. I'm adding reputation. I can just add these things. Ooh, big dumps at a time. Very cool. Or... I can take away. Okay, I get it. Very, very simple, very straightforward. Um, if I click these things, it'll automatically upgrade things. Like, let's see, does it do it in real time? Okay, it said it said it just upgraded everything, but but it I I don't think it actually I don't think it did. If I left and then came back in, it would probably be updated. Uh, let's keep looking. We got set orbit which is a great handy thing, except some of the numbers are borked. I've noticed that 686,000, if we go there, how do we go there? Set orbit is 86,000. So it's like the 600,000 units is from the center out. Are we falling? <laughs> What's this orbit doing? What you doing, dude? What you doing? You wobbling? You wobbling? It's cool. It's cool. You can wobble. Uh, so you'd want to do things like just start with 600,000. And what would we do? We would do, okay, so 700,000. Boink. Should be 100,000 orbit. Yeah, so you, you'll you get used to this thing. Uh, the eccentricities and, and OBTs and stuff, I'm definitely not going to screw with. But let's say we wanted to do like a moon. Uh, oh. Okay, let's just do 700,000 on the moon because obviously it's going to be huge, right? Yeah, so it's 500,000. So if you wanted, you can see there's going to be like a lot of trial and error. So I think it's 300,000 would do 100,000. Yeah, see, that's that's borky. You should just put in 100,000 and it should just do 100,000 off the surface. Maybe there's even a thing I'm missing here that might allow that conversion. But I, I have no idea. This is still such a new thing because 1.2 literally comes out today. So we're figuring this shit out as we go. Um, lost crew respawn. What do we got here? Allow revert to quick. Okay, the difficulty stuff makes sense. Object thrower. What is, what is this? I want to throw objects. I love throwing objects. Okay, let's throw an object. Mass, size, speed. Let's do a really low speed because I actually want to see it. Armed. Okay. But, space. Uh, you think there'd be a button here, right? Like throw, throw object. What's, what's, if anybody knows what this object thrower is, if you can figure it out, uh, comment, <laughs> please. What else do we got here? Contracts, active. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. So if you're like, oh damn, I should have taken that, that mission, you can just like radio, where's Kerbin? You can radio down to Kerbin and be like, I'd like to uh, accept this. And now it should be. Yeah, that's awesome. That's actually really handy. What do we got here? Oh, create. No way. No way. Okay, this is actually my favorite part of the new menu. Being able to create a Kerman. 
a, a Kerbal, a, a Kerbal, a pilot. Of course, I'm, I'm amazing. I have tons of courage. I have no stupidity. I'm a veteran and a badass. Yep. Create Kerbal. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, so let's go... Uh... I go Space Center. This flight just happened. So let's <laughs> let's do that. And let's go see if it created a Noel Kerman. I love this. I'm already I'm already I'm already all about this. Okay, it did not create it did not create one. Let's see if we create another one right now. Oh, roster full. That's why. Okay, so if I This roster's full? I guess this roster's full, not not like the total roster. Right. I've got max applicants and I can't I can't remove one, I guess. Or that's just broken. I, I still prefer to just go into the save file and just start editing their names to be names that I want. So I don't think I'd ever actually use that, but that's a great feature if it works in 1.2. So we've done everything we needed to do. I've showed you you can cheat gravity, you can do infinite propellants, you can just rendezvous with things right away, you just click a button and boom, you've got a rendezvous, you just click a button, boom, you've got an orbit. It, it's, this is going to be a useful tool, especially to people just learning the game. That's why they made it. I mean, they made it for people learning the game. My buddy who picked it up, Don, he loves this game, but it was really hard in the beginning. So he learned the game using infinite propellant, which a lot of people would be like, oh, that's cheating. Well, no. No, you're just giving yourself the tools you need to sort of figure the game out a little bit. Now he plays the game like a fucking boss. So it's one of those little baby steps. It's one of those little helpful tools you guys can use to make learning Kerbal Space Program just a tiny bit easier. All right, guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you comment, hope you share, hope you tell me what that object thrower is and what the key is for it. Until next time, guys, peace, love, cheers.